Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Kid Lee and it's time to take a look at Exoprimal. This is what they call a PvE VP mech shooter with some story elements from the developers over at Capcom. But yeah, basically what this game is about is you are able to choose from multiple mech suits. You can level them up, you can customize them a little bit and you're uh, going in there with a team killing dinosaurs and trying to figure out what, what's going on in this crazy world. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll uh, show you what this, is, uh, what this is all about. Now, the first question you might have is, do I have to PVP? The answer is no. It's definitely designed around it, but you don't have to. Ocular motion detected. You are awake. Oh, thank you for that. But yeah, just looking over the menus here real quick, you have your home screen. This is where you launch missions and you can see your overall story progression. Uh, war games, you can go into dino survival and training mode. The hangar is where you can come in here and actually inspect your different uh, mech suits. You can also come in here and customize them. Every mech suit has a level. You'll actually get different uh, rigs and modules. As you can see here, I can select uh, different like guns, different modules. The modules themselves, you can level up, which is pretty cool. Uh, as I mentioned, full customization as far as the way you can make your, your mech look. There's also different weapon skins, different decals on different positions, different charms you can do, so... Yeah, it's got a lot of uh, fun stuff. You know, if you want, uh, you know, a disco ball hanging off the back of your mech. Sure, right? And there's also a little bit of a communication wheel. Uh, if you want to send your other party mates uh, some emotes or, you know, whatever. But yeah, I would say it's, uh, it's, a, it's a decent system for, you know, this type of game. Uh, as I back out, we've got the career. So this game does feature a uh, season pass if you're into that sort of thing. Lady was talking there for a second. Uh, you're also able to customize your own personal emblems, backgrounds, awards. Uh, if you've ever played anything like Apex Legends, this is going to look very familiar to you. There's also a database, and this is also where some of the story stuff comes into. So there's sort of this analysis wheel. And as you're out there doing the missions, you're essentially, you're filling out this wheel, you're getting the story bits, and then eventually it's going to like center in on the end game. And as you can see here, it says how to escape. So I guess we'll see uh, how to escape maybe. But yeah, I think without further ado, everybody always wants to see what the game is all about. So we're gonna jump right into a little bit of action here. I will mention with the actual mech suits, it is broken down to assault tank and support. So I'm going to show you guys the dead eye uh, mech suit, which is like your just straight up standard, you know, run and gun style uh, suit. But there are there's melee suits if you're interested in in more melee stuff. There's tanky ones with shields or tanky ones with big guns. Again, you've got your healers, which I actually do play quite a bit. So overall, a, a pretty good variety of, of different suits. Uh, I will mention the game does have a character creator as well, so whether you're male or female, you are able to actually customize the look of your uh, character as well. And they will appear in cutscenes along with that. But yeah, you can see on this screen right here, you can set it to PvP, PvE, or random. I personally like the PvP aspect of it. Now, in the PV part are you pvping all the time no you are not and you'll see how it works here in just a second so we're loading into a mission so it's going to be my team versus another team and it is players versus players so even if you take the pve option it is still human players and then it's just versus bots Or, the other thing that they'll do is they'll, depending on the map and stuff, they'll actually remove the PvP option. So sometimes I think it'll still be 
player versus player as far as the race part of it is concerned, but you just can't attack each other. Welcome to my research facility. Your streak of unfortunate results continues, but there is hope for you yet. Humans display incredible mental fortitude in extreme circumstances. Sure. So the uh, enemy team is over there in red, and then here's the uh, my team over here on this side. Looks like we do have one healer on the team, and everybody else is going deep. Oh, this guy's switching. This guy's switching over to a tank. So we got another gun guy there, gun guy there. The healer's right there. Transfer you to the oh, he's zone. switching. Enjoy the war game. So it is pretty cool once you load into a match, you can actually switch your suits on the fly. You can switch whenever you want, which is pretty cool. Interdimensional transfer complete. The war game will begin shortly. Have so you'll see the game. enemy players right there in front of us, but they the appear as red test. ghosts. Exo so you can't actually Follow mess the with watcher. them at all, and they can't mess with you until the match gets to a certain Initiating point. Dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summoning raptors. So the first part of this is a race. And at the very top of the screen is essentially the race uh, status. So it's nice about work. it's about clearing and killing dinosaurs as quickly as you possibly Summoning can. Raptors. Why are we fighting dinosaurs? Who's to say? But you'll notice that down there in the bottom right, I do have a number of abilities. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. I mean, we're doing it slower Follow by like watcher. 10 seconds. Proceed I think we'll be okay. Next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. So I'm going to go ahead and let Please a couple dinosaurs spawn in, Summon and I'm going to go ahead and pop my grenade here. There we go. Nice work. So when it comes Summon to the actual mech suits, it's all about finding a suit that Summon you like. Again, do you like source. range? Do you like melee? Do you prefer more of a more of a tank? Do you want shield? Nice do you want a big minigun? Do you want swords? You know what what do you what do you want? And then from there you can start leveling and customizing Dinosaur and all that fun stuff. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Again, slower Follow by about two seconds because we can see them. They're right here mission. with us. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. So yeah, the game basically just feeds different Summoning types of dinosaurs to you. Summoning Sinonithosauruses. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use my big cannon on this guy. There we go. We nuked him real quick. Here they come. Dinosaur call. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. I felt like that was real quick. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat area. Please wait. Summon I don't want to wait. Summoning raptors. Bring the raptors. Oh man, I should have saved my cannon for this other direction. There's so many more. Summoning raptors. Hey. Dinosaur call. Complete. You are completing objectives slower than yep, the enemy. Yeah, we gotta team. we gotta speed things up Proceed a little bit. We're still behind mission. them. Initiating dinosaur call. But no, as you can see, it's Preparing basically just a race. Area. Please wait. Now the actual PVP doesn't start until the very very end, which you'll see how that works here in uh, just a little bit. Summoning raptors. Get out of here, raptors. 
We want to fight a T-Rex. Give us something big. Other side. Ah, there's something a little bit bigger. Hey. Oh, a frag grenade over there. You can see the bigger dinosaurs have like a health bar. Nice work. Dinosaur call complete. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy. Oh, these guys are fighting a T-Rex. Proceed to next mission. Initiating dinosaur call mission. Preparing combat. All of the suits also do have an Please ultimate wait. ability. You'll see Summoning down there in the lower choice. right. I have a 72%. That's my ultimate. All right, we're bringing in a big boy. Here we go. Wish I had my alt right now. We could really use it. Oh, I got knocked down. Get up, get up, get up. Has progressed to the final mission. Act quickly to close the performance gap. We are attempting to act quickly. Yes. All right, we got him. We're about a minute behind right now. You are completing objectives slower than the enemy team. Warning. Gotta speed it up. You will now commence the final mission. Brace yourselves for interdimensional travel. Prepare. So yep. So it's this final mission where you can actually PVP with the enemy team a little the bit. Final mission will be data key security. So this is an escort. Proximity. We gotta escort our cube. We'll cause it to advance. So we can go attack them and their cube, and they can come and attack us and our cube, trying to slow the progress. So yeah, the more people we have around the cube, the faster it's going to go. Faster it will repair as well. The enemy data key. The other thing that can happen is you can take control of enemy dinosaurs in this phase. So they can like summon a T-Rex, we can summon a T-Rex or Triceratops or you know whatever. Has been generated for your team. Use the dominator to commandeer a So you can see the percentages at the top, the so we're about 10% behind, give or take. They have five pushing, we have two pushing, so that's a mistake. Our teammates, we gotta stay next to the cube. Thanks, bud. Summoning raptors. A good way to clear him quick. The enemy team, a dominator. They she may right. invade with a hostile dinosaur. Oh no, the they will invade with a hostile dinosaur. Summoning raptors. But yeah, in the end, this game is what I would call just dumb fun. The story of the game is actually like pretty decent, what I've seen so far. But just like coming in and just shooting dinosaurs or, you know, using swords or summoning shields or whatever. Escort progress, 40%. It's, uh, it's a pretty tyrannous. good time. So those guys are getting a little bit too far away from the cube. Get these flyers out of the sky here. Uh oh. Oh, this is us summoning one. So we have somebody that's going to take control of this guy. Let's go attack the enemy team with it. So I do have my alt ready, but I'm going to save it. Hey. Go do a thing. Got to keep the dinosaurs off our cube. Summoning Dilophosaurus. Summoning Raptors. Summoning the Pachycephalosaurus. No, get off our cube.
They've completely destroyed our cube. Now we gotta rebuild it. Stupid dinosaurs. Hey, get out of here. I needed that. We got another guy on the front here. Escort progress. We got a flyer near the cube. A well balanced combat. We're uh, we're closing in. On the offensive. Fight back. One way to get the pain. There's another there's an enemy player right there. Demonstrate the necessary skills to avoid defeat. The enemy data has progressed 90%. Consider directly attacking enemy exofighters. Oh, they just froze us. Nice work. Alright, here comes my ultimate. And they killed me. I tried to like really slow him down there. Get me back in the game. Warning. The enemy team has Somebody, you, you need to shoot their cube. Enemy controlled dinosaur. Oh, that happen again. Prioritize See, they're uploading. We're not. The data key is being attacked by dinosaurs. The data key is badly damaged. The data key has been destroyed. Maintain proximity to initiate the activation. Stay near the data key to escort it. And so they got a T-Rex on us here. Damage critical. We have nobody on our cube. So this is pretty much game over for us. Yep, we're done. That's it. Combat test complete. You are defeated. This failure has brought you perilously close to the forcible yeah, subject that correction threshold. So a win or a Please loss technically doesn't matter when it comes to the story oh, progression. Mandatory it's just going to automatically just kick in and... Exo fighters in this war game. So you're leveling everything up, your player level, your season pass level, whether you have it or not, because there's a free version. You're leveling up your suits, getting some rewards. <sighs> and then we jump into some story stuff. Hey, are you okay? Hello? Thought I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sides. Wait, what? Oh, there's... Do you hear that? There's somebody in here. No, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, actually, put the gun down, please. Okay, there's lots of sensitive equipment in here. Some of it between my bloody ears. Oh, just be careful. We're in danger. Chief, would you mind telling him to put the gun down, please? Put down the gun, uh, Majesty. Thank you, Chief. Uh, Madge, just... Relax. Victoria, you are in danger. Oh dear. Hello? Uh, it is this thing. You all have got to learn to calm down. She got stabbed earlier, for those uh, who don't know. It appears that Leviathan caused the Bikatoa incident using this next-gen Vortexer. Okay, let's go under the uh, analysis map here. Do we have anything new? We do not. But just to kind of show you how the story uh, works through this. Let's see if I can find one to, to play here real quick. See, what is this one? People. Oh, that's uh technology. Under Okay, let's not do that one. Let's do So that's the one we just watched. 
So these are the, the bigger cutscenes. I was trying to find one of the smaller ones. Which we just watched something like that similar. Just try, trying to give you an idea. Oh, it's probably... Oh, yeah, it's probably these. Let's do... Um, Sandy. Yeah, Ready to assist. What do the others talk to you about? Whatever is on their minds, Victoria. I have nothing on my mind. <sighs> All right, one thing. <sighs> you remember Magnum? Before he died, he mentioned the rumors about me. I remember. It is not my business. Uh, it's okay, Sandy. Listen, exo fighters are superstitious. Any mission might end up with you beaten in half. Uh, you might come to believe many things. And the word around Exonet is that I am bad luck, okay? They say that if I am in your crew, bad things happen. And it is true that on my first jump, my teammate's jets failed and he broke both legs. And in Prague three weeks later, uh, a pteranodon came through the windshield and speared our chief like shish kebab. <sighs> Everywhere I go, I rack up the kills, I take down the dinos. And they say I am cursed. Don't tell Ace, but between you and me, I'm the best exo fighter in the fleet. My performance record is spotless. Kill count, the highest. TTK, the lowest. I should be commanding a team. But no one wants to grow with me. And once you see a dinosaur shish kebab men, it's hard to blame them. I never believe in bad luck. But look at us. The week I get assigned here, we crash hard in the land that is before the time. And I can't do anything about it. I can barely walk. As a digital construct, I am only capable of registering and reacting to the present moment, since bad luck involves anxiety over negative future events. It is a human concept that I find difficult to grasp. Huh. You never worry about what might happen in the future? I understand that I will have to handle it when it becomes the present. And if you can handle anything... Does your current crew think you are bad luck? I don't know. What did they say when they found out I was assigned to the team? I recorded several exchanges. But forget it. I don't want to know. It doesn't matter. Once we are off this island, I can get back on track. You will choose to leave the Hammerheads. Ugh. Has Lorenzo got you calling us that? If I have to, I have to. You must keep moving forward. That's what it takes to be the best. Similar to how Leviathan proceeds with the war games. What? Leviathan perpetuates these exercises in pursuit of an inchoate goal. Ha! Huh. Leviathan is a mindless machine! I apologize if I have said something wrong. <sighs> Damn it. So that's basically how this game works. You go, you do a mission, you come back, and you do story, and it's just kind of, kind of repeats that uh, same thing. Again, you're you're leveling up your like character, your account, you're leveling up the the suits and space time distortions, and that's about Golden it. Golden goose, they're connected. So the way that that it presents that is a little bit weird. It's a little bit unusual. Like I can't, off the top of my head, recall a game that's using this particular format. So it's definitely. Uh, Definitely interesting. But no, I'll, I'll say the gameplay seems solid. And obviously, uh, you know, it looks great, sound great. You know, voice acting is, is fine. Really, the only, like, negative I can say about this game, other than, than the, the format being weird, is the price point is way off. Uh, they're, they're charging full price for this. And it shouldn't. This should be, like, a $20 or $30 game. And then if you do the season pass on top of that, that's fine. But I I can't justify 
telling someone to get this for full price. That being said, this is on Game Pass, and it's the perfect Game Pass game. So, yeah, if this looks interesting to you at all, uh, I'd recommend getting it on Game Pass or waiting for a sale. You know, maybe they add more content at some point down the road, and maybe it would be worth the, uh, the full price, but I would say at the moment it's not. I am, I am enjoying the story so far, and it looks like the story is fairly long. Like, I've probably put somewhere around 15, 20 hours into this, and I'm at, like, 41%, so that's, that's saying something. So, decently long game. But gameplay-wise, you're not really doing anything terribly different. Yeah, you just kind of load into the matches, you DPS, heal tank, or whatever, and that's, that's about it, so... But no, it's not, it's not bad. I'm definitely enjoying it, but as I said, uh... Speaking with Ace is a most enjoyable experience. Oh, thanks, I guess. But no, it, it's just kind of one of them, like, dumb fun kind of games, which, again, is not bad. But you have to definitely be into that sort of thing. But yeah, I think for those who are watching on YouTube, uh, that'll go ahead and do it. So there you go. That is, uh, Exoprimal. So, not bad. But we'll have to see what they do with it down the road. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a uh, comment down below. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.